All right, check it out. This is a C93 from Century Arms. And look at that, ain't it pretty? This is a 5.56 millimeter semi automatic. Uh, the design itself is from Germany. This was their 5.56 rifle for the longest time. And this is a basic semi automatic 5.56. Has the 40 round magazine, as you can see here. And it's a pretty basic rifle. This one, again, is from Century Arms. And these things have been hit or miss in the past. Uh, but this one looks pretty clean, so I figured I'd check it out, see how she shot. This one, of course, is from uh, Mitchell Supply. He hooked me up with this rifle. Very nice rifle. And on a side note, I'm going to let you guys know uh, I'm working with them right now. We're going to try and do some work on the website, get it updated, get it running a little bit more efficient. Uh, they've been moving around and uh, pretty much upgrading their location, doing a lot of gun shows, and they've been really busy, so the website had to take a back seat, unfortunately. But I'm working with them right now. We're going to see if we can get that thing up and running a little bit better and up to date. So that way, if you guys are interested, you can go to the website and get the most up to date inventory. But in any case, enough of that. This thing, um, I really like the design of these rifles. Uh, I was stationed in Germany for four years while I was still active duty. And uh, fun place. And the German military always had some fun toys. And right now they're carrying the G36s, which are awesome, awesome rifles. Uh, if you guys ever get a chance to fire a G36, man, those things are excellent guns. Uh, accurate, very reliable little pieces. This is older. This is kind of an older, more of a Cold War era type rifle. But still, it's an accurate rifle and it's a well-made rifle. Very simple in design. And uh, it's pretty much, if you guys are familiar with Set Me rifles, it's pretty much the same thing. You can see right there, there's your charging handle non-reciprocating. You've got your basic uh, fire selector for safe, kill, and then uh, if you wanted to get one of the fancy ones that have the rock and roll switch, you can go safe, kill, and more kill, which is automatic. Uh, the only thing missing on this is the bayonet lug, which is not a big deal, and it does not have the bipod assembly. You can see right here the stock is cut for a bipod assembly. I'm going to look around and see if I can't find that. And, of course, you've got the little divots here on the upper receiver portion where you can put optics if you want. And you got the nice little folding carry handle. The gun, um, the iron sights on this thing, pretty basic. You can see it's got the diopter set up. It goes from 100 meters. I have it set on the 200. And then you can turn it just like so. There's the 300 and the 400. And then you can spin it back around to the 100, which is more of a quick close quarters type setup but for now I'll just keep it on the 200 until I get a chance to play with it more the uh, flash hider typical birdcage style flash hider the barrel you can see is pretty thin reminds me of the old school ARs so it'll be interesting to see what type of accuracy I can ring out of this thing I don't expect it to be as accurate as heavier barreled ARs but I expect it to have serviceable accuracy these guns were definitely not precision guns, but they were still accurate. You could still shoot decent with them, and I intend to prove that. So this is just a quick overview. Just wanted to show this gun. Pretty interesting gun, and it's neat to be able to play around with a 5.56 millimeter that's not an AR-15. So there it is. Stay safe, stay free, and thanks for watching.